Good morning, everybody. I hope you are all doing well. I wanted to make today's video essentially about something that we all care about, our rank and how do we actually climb. I'm a jungle player. If you guys don't know anything about me, I have been challenger many times in the past, but I'm eating a slice of humble pie because this split is kicking my butt. This is an old school uh, thing I used to do back in the day. It is something that most coaches recommend. As a coach, I went ahead and put this together because I figured out, you know, I've got 10, 15 clients right now and this was gonna help them. It's also gonna help me make my push to challenger. How you look at league and how you actually climb. League, your rank is invisible. That's how you have to think about it. It's how you have to look at it. Really and truthfully, whatever rank you are right now, you're probably gonna have a rank if you're watching this video that you wanna get to. And there's a gap between those two, right? And the question is, how do you fill that gap and how do you get essentially to where you wanna be? And the answer is, the only way you can do it is you have to create a framework for climbing. Most people will tell you if you're trying to improve at something, there's a few things you can do. Number one, you want to track your habits. So just by the art of writing down stuff, you will actually start to be a little bit more aware of things and habits that you're a little bit, you just bring it to the front of your mind and it just makes you a little bit more aware of those things. The second thing you want to do, of course, is you want to be brutally self-aware because oftentimes if your teammates are flaming you for building the wrong items, there's probably a little truth to it and vice versa. And so how I look at the game, it's a very simple game right? You've got essentially, and I created this little template. If you are interested in this template, all you got to do, by the way, just go to my Discord, join the Discord. It'll be in the description and just literally direct message me on Discord. This is an Excel file. I am going to make a barrier to entry. I'm not just going to give this away for free because it is coaching material. But if you take the time to ask for it, I will absolutely give it to you. But the idea though is you've got essentially, for me, I essentially just brain dumped the 44 different categories for jungle that you want to you wanna know. If in, in case you're wondering, you can just read along and go down them here with me. But essentially, it includes things like map awareness. How good are you at just checking the map generally? How good are you checking the map mid-fight? So let's say a fight breaks out. Are you still looking at the mini-map? Are you hyper-focused on your champion? Are you good at objective control? How is your ganking? Those are the obvious ones. Then you've got other things like are you good at snowballing stomp games and stalling hard losing games? How, how good is your attitude? Is your communication decent? Do you keep track of turret plates on both teams to see who has advantages? How is your recall timing? Do you spend your gold? Do you kite your camps? Do you kite champions? Both are different skills. And so like there's just a lot of these soft skills you have to go down and be very Listen, if you don't kite your camps, that's one of 44 things you're just not doing to be a challenger player, right? And I go through each of these, and what I do is I just systematically rank them. And then after you rank them, essentially 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 10 to 100, the idea is if you have an average after you add them all up, divide them by the amount of characters. If you're below 50, you're probably going to be iron or bronze. And how I look at it, of course, if you rate yourself 0 to 10, you're completely new to the concept. If you're 10 to 20, this means you're aware of the concept. And one thing I really want to stress, too, is in 2024, it's not good enough to just know what wave management is, know how to crash a tower into a tower to let it push back and to know how to do it. That's not enough, dude, because really and truly, I think most bronze players can use and apply when others are using wave management to get advantages. Every bronzy and ironer cannot do that out there. What makes people climb out of Brian bronze, iron, silver, gold is they get really good at wave management so they can apply the concept in an efficient manner to either generate leads or punish predictable behavior, right? And then they start dragging up the averages of the other categories that they may not be good at. And everybody has blind spots and everybody has stuff they're bad at. The idea, though, is in order to get to diamond, I really do think you have to be at at least an 80 in all categories. You have to have sufficient knowledge just of a little bit of everything. You don't have to be great at everything, just a little bit of everything. And in my opinion, what I got to work on is I got to push, and this is why most people say that climbing from bronze to diamond takes just as much work as climbing from diamond to grandmasters is because you're no longer pushing 0 to 10 to 60 to 70, 70 to 80. You're pushing from 80 to 100 in every category. So you can't just be good at the category. You can't just be great at the category. You have to be 
amazing at 44 different categories. And if you get your average of every single skill up, you will climb through masters and grandmasters because most people don't take the time to track this. Some junglers will be ridiculously good at engaging and disengaging, but will have no idea how to communicate or have a good attitude with their team. So it drags them down, right? All these things matter. And in my opinion, this is the easiest and most fundamental way to look at how to actually climb. You just have to get each of these categories, whatever they may be. You'll know your blind spots after you fill it out. You'll know what you're really good at. For instance, I'm a one trick. Knowledge of your jungle champ, I'm going to rate myself a 100 because I play Udyr all day, every day. I know Udyr better than pretty much everybody in the world. For me, my knowledge of Udyr probably drags my rank up. There are categories here. I would say my attitude <laughs> probably needs some work every now and then. I'm not very good about sieging. I'm really good at stalling hard losing games. I'd give myself about a 95 on that. Snowballing stomp games, I'm probably a 40 right now. Like I'm not, it's a huge weak spot I have is getting out of my own jungle and going and applying pressure. And if I've got three winning lanes, essentially gas pedaling that lead, uh, that's something I'm not good at. So for me, that is a huge area of improvement. And with you, you'll you'll have your own things you're good at. You might be good at snowballing, but suck in losing games and vice versa. So wanted to get this video out there. Obviously, number one, if you're interested, just go to my Discord, DM me. I will send you this file and you can just play around with it. But you can also create your own file as well and just do the exact same thing. The other thing I do want to say, of course, and self-plug, I do offer coaching and I do offer two types of coaching. One is a Twitch sub coaching. So if you just want a one session, like a one-off, go just drop a Twitch Prime, get gifted a sub, it doesn't matter, and I'll give you a free coaching session. And then after that, you can use that as kind of a trial. I have a second option called private coaching, which is what I made this for, where I actually work with people to get their ranks to where they want to be. And I do think it is very, very important to look at your game through the analytical lens and not, frankly, just the, uh, you know, I lost a game, oh well. I won a game, yay, I played well, because that's often not what happens. The other thing I'll say, of course, too, is I do think analysis and self-awareness is literally part of climbing. If you're not able to look at your own games and look at your own scenarios, look at the Baron calls and say, was this the right Baron call or not, you're that's just a skill you need to develop. That in of itself will help you climb. So um, I even included that as a category down there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to catch live content, make sure to head over to my Twitch, twitch.tv backslash Willie fucking P. You can also, of course, catch me in the Discord, get information on coaching and all the uh, links if you just ask me. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. And I uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Bye. Dang. Call me so I can make it just if I yeah.